Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode four of our complete Thor walkthrough. And um, we are covering oscillators in this section. In the last one, we covered the analog oscillator. In this one, we're going to do the wavetable oscillator, which has like a billion sounds. So we'll go through those kind of quickly. Um, There'll be a little bit of review here, but I'm going to go through that part fast. If uh, you didn't watch the analog oscillator video, you may want to go back and watch it because I'm only just going to briefly touch on some stuff. So the and, uh, and and you can see here I've got my oscilloscope up so you can see what the wave shapes actually look like because we're going to be playing with some of them, and it's important to know what they're what's going on with them so you understand uh, how your synthesis is happening. The wavetable oscillator, um, you've got the same four knobs that's in all of them. Keyboard, octave, semi, tone, and tuning. So, um, like I said, covered those in the last one. Um, but here, you've got something different going on. You have a position, and you have a crossfade. So what what the heck is that um well that what you just saw there on the oscilloscope was a good example so i i have the crossfade turned off and look at that so this basic analog wave is all of the same things all the all your same wave shapes from the analog oscillator but you just have to change the position to get your different ones. So when I turn on crossfade, you can see what it does. It's smoothly going from one to the next. And that's what that's what it, that's what all these that's what all these are going to do. So when you have a different wave, Like this has got a whole bunch of settings and those are all harmonics. It's so it's adding and subtracting harmonics. Um, and then when you crossfade it, does it really smoothly? So not, you know, nothing, nothing crazy there, but, um, but once you understand that concept, then you can get like, Oh, here's what I can do with this thing. So, the a lot of a lot of these first this first half these are these are relatively basic so we saw what basic analog did synced sine so it's you're adding multiple sine waves to it and they're all synced together if you watched the last episode where we talked about these sync buttons and what they do in regards to the uh, analog oscillator that's what's happening here these are this is but this is these are just signs and they're synced together so then same thing here ramp and these are, these are, uh, I mean, it says ramp, but you know, it's sawtooth. Um, so they're synced together. Um, ramp harmonics, sawtooth harmonics. And it's actually going through the harmonics series. So, um, and, and this is really faithful to how actual harmonics work um, so if you uh, if 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 you are someone who knows a little bit about the physics behind your behind sound and music then this is a fun one because you can actually see how court your chords are built so just just for laughs so here I've got three wavetable oscillators and they're all on ramp harmonics and I have a chord because I've just changed the position of each one of these so it's playing different harmonics from the series so that's ramp harmonics uh, square harmonics same idea square waves and as you go through there you're changing the uh, you're, you're just selecting different harmonics or with the position on. Uh, sine, same thing. Then 16th. That 
That's an interesting uh, wave shape there. And you can hear it very, it's very quiet, but it's the, so uh, I'm not going to go into how, how the harmonic, how, what the harmonic structure looks like, but it's, um, it's adding the 16th harmonic and then you're kind of cruising through the harmonic structure with the 16th added, um, 10 signs. So in here, I think you're getting into non-harmonic ones. Five signs. So, and then random signs. And let me demonstrate a patch here. So, uh, what I did here is I've I've routed LFO one to uh, oscillator one position knob and you can it's modulating between the random signs so you get a non-harmonic sound modulation you still have your fundamental low pitch and then non-harmonic modulation which has a fairly creepy vibe to it which is what brought me to make this version of it where and this combinator is included in the free download that I have on uh, Gumroad. So that's a nice, creepy effect. What did I do? All I did, Thor and a reverb, like the power, the power of this device just blows me away. So, uh, yeah. All right, so that's just a fun one you can do with uh, with your signs. And so here, your position, it's going between different types of waves and you have three versions of that. So it just, I mean, these are all like kind of, these are just your, your flavors, you know? You got all these different flavors to choose from. So they, you can do some fun stuff with this. Now, didgeridoo, I was like, that, that, to me, that does not, it didn't sound anything like didgeridoo, but, but if, again, let's unlock the power, unlock the power of Thor, and I'm going to route LFO1 to that, and I've got it set to the, to, to random, sample and hold random, uh, the smooth version, not the actual sample and hold version, uh, oscillator one, position, Sounding a little bit more like a digi, if you've ever played with a didgeridoo. So maybe a little bit of fleshing out, you would uh, have have some more going. But um, but yeah, you get you get the idea there. So. All right, what else do we have here? We got a sax. Uh, whoops, <laughs> we probably don't need that. So. And, and some of these I'm kind of like, eh, mixed feelings, but if it's where you can tweak them and play with them and you can start to get the actual sounds. See, that sounds like a trombone with a mute almost. I mean, that sounds like a MIDI trombone, but again, tweak it play with it and you might be able to get yourself something pretty decent sounding um the piano like that's like a painful piano um it's the saddest piano ever um but again play with it combine it with other stuff it's not meant to be a perfect piano voice is an interesting one because this it's kind of going between vowel sounds. So if you're playing with voice, then 
you know, that's where you need to, you know, you're going, if you're saying ah, very subtle changes can make a big difference there. That can actually get some cool sounds. And after that one, we start to get into all these different sounds. And you're going to have to just go through these on your own because they're every one of them you get. So, like, it's a bass. Yeah, kind of sounds like a bass. So, you know, and it's like you're turning the treble up and you put new strings on it or something. You know, just every one of these, just play with it play with that position knob and that position knob is what unlocks the power in the wavetable oscillator um, for a long time i just thought the most of these sounds whatever uh and it wasn't until i started playing with oh this position knob is where it's at and that really create you can create some really interesting stuff with it so i won't beat a dead horse um i, th I think you get the idea uh so like and subscribe if you enjoy this content um and hey send me your mixes that you've done with thor i'd love to hear them um and uh the next one we're going to be talking uh, about the phase modulation oscillator so i uh, got that to look forward to thanks for watching have a good one cheers